Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing KRS Hair Group's uh, Not So Nappy U Part Unit. If you're interested in hearing about whether or not I like this unit, what the pros and cons are, continue to watch. All right, so um, I purchased this unit for about $400. They do, KRS Hair Group is currently offering a $25 off. I think it's over a $300 coupon. But anyway, head over there. Most of their units are going to be over $300. So chances are um, you would be getting that $25 coupon. So that should help knock off, you know, some of the costs. So I was looking for something that was easy to do. You know, we're all on quarantine, some form of it or another. And for the most part, beauty supply stores aren't open. Hair salons aren't open. I'm not taking a chance to go to my usual person because you just never know. So I wanted something easy that I can just throw on, go to work or go wherever and not have to worry about my hair and you know have a somewhat protective um, style. So I opted for a U-part unit. Now I have constructed U-part units in the past. I don't know what I'm doing. So I thought it'd be best just to go ahead and purchase a unit, spend the money to make sure, you know, it's gonna look a little bit better than if I had done it myself so I picked up this unit so far so good I'm looking down I have so many notes here I don't want to miss anything so if you see me looking down that is why first and foremost I think it's affordable with a lot of units lace front units and um, here in general being over 300 400 dollars I think getting a u-part wig for under 400 dollars is well worth the uh, price because I mean you don't have to be the best braider I can't really braid and what I did was I um, braided two braids here to hook the uh, clips in and then I did like oh and then I braided um I put in some cornrows here to like have these clips hook in and that was it easy peasy um so I do think it is worth it if we're talking about you know um the fact that you're getting a ready-made sewing almost so there's that now I will say that the not so nappy unit is still very textured. I will insert a clip in a few seconds of what it looks like and you know what it looked like after I straightened it. One pass for the most part will straighten it. I used um, a flat iron and I had it like at 400 degrees. So I think that I think that will do. Now my hair is relaxed. So even though I straightened it, I noticed some texture differences because when I straighten my hair and when I straighten this hair, it's not exactly a match, but it's good enough. So if you want to kind of hide that, you can always just put it behind your ear like I did over here. Um, but I want to leave this out just so you can see that there is slight texture difference. Also, I am a two. When it comes to hair colors, I'm definitely a two. This is closer to a 1B. So if your hair is closer to the black side in terms of color, uh, this would be the perfect unit for you. It is extremely thick. I'm going to have to go out and get thinning shears because I'm not used to such thick hair. And my hair is, um, I wouldn't say super thin, but it's a lot thinner than this. So I don't know if this looks realistic. So I'm thinking about getting some thinning shears to help uh, combat that issue of fullness. But if you love a thick wig, if you like big hair, again, this is the unit for you because I'm sure they use like, if we're talking about packed, pack hair this is probably like three packs three and a half packs it's really full um what else what else the cap is a little too big i ordered a B, a medium cap and by the way this is in 16 and 18 inches i am about five nine so you can see it's it's really long um the medium cap was too big so what i did i actually searched on youtube for how to um you know make a cap fit a little tighter to your head and I like kind of scrunched up the um the loose parts of the cap and I sewed it together so I brought them you know I don't know if that's making sense but if you look on YouTube you'll see what I'm talking about pretty much you kind of bunch up the cap that um is too big sew those parts together so that by default the cap becomes a little bit more compact and uh that helped because before honey my head was swimming in this thing but I guess it's better to have a cap that's too big rather than too small. You really can't do anything if it's too small. Um, so yeah, the medium cap is a little big. So if you have an average sized head, 
I would suggest going with a smaller cap or you can just get the medium and then adjust it if necessary. Um, what else, what else, what else? Can it hold a curl? It can. Um, I wanna say one thing though about the straightening. And I, you know, I'll probably do a video of flexi rods as well as, um, you know, with a, a curling iron to see, to show you guys how it holds up when it comes to curls. But with the quick curling job that I did, it could hold a curl for a couple of hours and then it began to drop. But again, I will do a um, demonstration on that. But I will say, I live in a humid uh, environment and I'm noticing that, like natural hair, it's not as sleek as it was the first night that I straightened it. So if you live like in the South, and I'm talking like Florida, um, Texas, you may run into issues. I don't really mind, um, it's not a big deal, but it is kind of, get, it's not as sleek as it was when I first um, strained it. So overall, I do recommend this hair. I think it's affordable. I think that it's quick and easy. It has a ton of um, clips in it, which is good. I don't clip the clips down here because I don't want it tugging on the front of my hair, but you can actually bring it all the way up to the front so that if you want to wear your hair like this, it doesn't look as awkward. Now I now have a little crimp in there, so just try to disregard that. But I usually can't do this with um, wigs because it starts here and then my hair is super like it's way thinner than the wig so then it looks kind of stupid but um the the clip is here so if i were to bring it here it would blend a little bit better but you get the you get the gist i may dye my hair do like a rinse semi-permanent dye to better match this color we'll see but overall check it out krs hair group they do have a 25 dollars off coupon now um, this is in the not so nappy texture, medium cap. I'm looking now to make sure I don't miss anything. 16 and 18. So it gives a little layered look. If you have anything from this um, hair group, let me know. I, oh, I had the clip-ins before, but I think it was in the regular um, texture. And I wore those things into the ground, honey. And everyone <clears throat> thought it was my real hair. So... I have experience with them before this U part, and I will say that, um, you know, it's a good company. Also black owned, that's always good. So don't forget to comment, subscribe, thumbs up this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.